How is everybody? Hopefully y'all are finding some safe ice. That is why I am here today. Um, so I got back home, which home for me is Nebraska, uh, about five days ago. And I decided that I was gonna roll up to South Dakota to the Glacier Lakes where I've got a lot of experience, love that area, and uh, do a little solo ice fishing adventure, which I did. Well, been up since 3 a.m. chasing ice. Finally got up to South Dakota. It's foggy, it's 13 degrees. Uh, the fishing report up here has not been good. The weather hasn't been very stable. Definitely beneficial to have an ATV up here. I'm gonna be putting in some serious work and I'm definitely gonna feel every single bit of my age today. So I've got about a mile walk with my sled to where I'm going. So uh, I better get started. Drove up two nights ago and this is kind of how that went. <sighs> Pretty nice. You can see all of my gear is pretty snug in this thing. I like that. Definitely gonna need that heater. Well, that's one way to get it down. I hope my auger works. I haven't used it since last year. The old reliable Strike Master Honda Light four stroke. Guy at Cabela's tried to sell me two, two cycle oil for this. Don't think that'd work. Probably should fire it up before dragging my sled all the way out there, but I'm gonna grab both Vexlars because I can. There's a snowmobile track right there. That'd be nice. I've said for four years that I'm gonna put a runner kit on my sled. <sighs> this would be one of those nice times where you, you're a girl, and you have guys take you out, set you up, tell you what to, tell you exactly what to do, and put you right on the fish. That honestly doesn't sound half bad right now. Half mile down, half mile to go. I'm gonna fish this here. I think this should be right off of this, this hump I found out here. We fire up. Guys, my spirit was broken. I was by myself. I had to haul that sled over a mile both days. I still couldn't get out to those deep contours where I knew the fish were. It was just too far. I didn't have it in me. There was snow on the ice. I haven't built a runner kit on my sled yet. Still a pain. That sled is not light. If anyone is familiar with iPhones, you can have 100% battery and expose it to the to single digits, which it was up there for three seconds and your phone dies. It was so foggy and so cloudy and snowing that I couldn't find my way back to my truck after my phone died on that last day I was there. I mean, everything that could have possibly gone wrong went wrong. I definitely needed an ATV. I thought I'd be able to drive my truck out, but after hearing somebody went in with a tracker, wasn't gonna do that. Um, so I decided to tuck my tail between my legs and come home. So I got home late last night. Thought, you know, I know it's been in the in the 50s for two days. I know there's not a lot of people getting out in the ice, but I've got this tiny little farm ponds, my uncles, and there might be a small chance that I get out there. So I went, drove to the little small town hardware store, tried to find a spud bar, ended up buying a spud hoe. It'll work. I'm gonna get out, check the ice and see if I, I can salvage my, my week here. So let's get out there and see if we can't catch a, see if we can't first get on the ice without falling in. And second of all, maybe we'll catch something. Let's go. All right, let's take a look at this ice. Ugh. Okay, 
first ice back home. Got about two and a half inches here. Not super ideal, but it's very shallow. Okay, I'm right now put on the Swedish pimple. This thing is a ice fishing 101. Gotta have this in every angler's arsenal. It's super versatile. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that little dude. Well, you know what that means. These fish are spawning in this tiny little pond. This has got to be a little baby fish. Oh, oh I still got him. That's a big one. Oh man, that's a giant gill. <laughs> Look how big that thing is. Holy gosh, that is huge. That's a freaking monster. Look at the freaking belly on that thing. Good lord. Take that all day. And that thing came straight up towards the surface too. I thought I lost him for a second. This is a 26 light Abbott X glass rod from St. Croix. Love this thing, it's pretty versatile. There's another one. Got him. <laughs> so, not near as big, but man, beautiful colors. And bonus, still got my waxy. They're definitely getting more aggressive now. If you guys notice how I'm holding this thing, you don't, I see a lot of people doing it weird. They hold it like this or like this. That's not how you hold an ice fishing rod. You almost want to hold it like a pencil so it sits right between your thumb and your index finger. And that way, you use your index finger. A lot of people don't realize how much action you're getting out of these little baby jigs and spoons by just tapping your finger. If you don't believe me, just pull your jig up to where you can see it and tap it, and you'll see how much you see how much action you're actually getting. It's quite a bit. That's a bass. That's a bass, for sure. Beautiful bass. <laughs> That's always a good time. Small town USA farm ponds. Good old clean fun. All I'm missing is the bourbon. So to be real, I don't really know how much time I have. Um, the ice is melting right now as I'm on it. And I've only got about two inches. <laughs> Like I said, I've been itching to get out down here on the pond, and I'm pretty risky. I take calculated risks. There's a difference between calculated risk and plain stupid. And this might be borderline. Because that sun's getting up and it's, it's hot. It's gonna get up to the 50s today. Yeah, the ice is getting thinner and thinner as we're sitting here. It, it might be time, you guys. I know I only got like an hour out here, but in my old age, I'm sure as heck not trying to be stupid. And this was probably stupid, but I got a wild heart and if I want to get out, I'm going to get out for just a little bit. Try to catch one more fish. One more. So it's melting and the water's coming up and out of the hole. 
that's when you tuck your tail between your legs and despite I wanted to catch one more fish I think that's probably time to call it guys okay guys that's it <laughs> that's really it I think I pushed it pretty good that ice is super thin it's uh it's time to get off of here count my blessings and uh hit it after a few solid freezes stay tuned guys there will be more thanks for watching and uh hope everyone's being safe out there